Okay guys and ladies, um, in the previous video I showed you how to uh, PPM output from the Dragonlink RX to the KK board, or uh, to most flight controllers that is, using pin number 4 to output the PPM to channel number 1. Now, in my particular case I need some more PWM signals coming off of the RX right here so I can pan and tilt my camera manually that will not be done through PPM using the KK 2.1.5 board. So what I've done is I've gone into the GUI and I've went ahead and programmed pin number one which would be channel one on your Dragon Link. I'm using that for channel six because I'm using five channels for the PPM. Now I go ahead and program channel one um, program channel 1 pin to channel 6. And then what I'll do is steal the positive and negative off of the KK2-1 board to power the servo. So I power the ser servo off of the board, but I use the PPM signal off the Copter RX because it only has 8 pins in a row. It does not have 8 rows of three. It's just eight single pins. So again, I've went ahead and programmed the first pin to channel six. That way on my drag or er, Tarani's channel six will be programmed to pin one. That way I can move my servo with my slider for my gimbal. And then also you can just continue to use pin 2 and 3. Just use the signal wire for another servo and go ahead and rob the power off of your remaining four sets of pins that you have. Like I said I'm using PPM into the KK board which will free up all these other pins here. You won't need signal off of those, you'll just need positive and negative to run your servo. Because all you can get from your Dragonlink receiver will be your signal wire. Alright, again, not the greatest video, but if you're looking for the information, it's definitely what you might be looking for. And there you go. Alright guys, thank you.